What's going on today, everybody? We're back in the fish room, and we got a special video for you today. We're going to do an entire fish tour slash feeding slash somebody sent us some fish food to try out, baby. Let me show you what they sent us. Hikari USA sent us some fish food, baby. Look at all these goodies. See all these goodies they sent us? Hikari has it all. They sent me just small little samples, a couple, a big bag, a couple big bags and stuff. And I'm going to show you how the fish like it because they love it. Guaranteed. Hikari is lit. They have extremely high quality fish food. Plus, like these, uh, for example, these Vibra Bites. There's like, there's an example here on the day. Look how much more they color up. These are like color enhancing, fish enhancing food. Extremely high qualities. I love them. I mean, I have, I ordered this. They didn't send me, I ordered this giant bag of Hikari. Um, it's the uh, sinking cichlid pellet, but they're so big that I feed them to our big red tail our clown knives, all of it. Everybody eats this. I feed it to all of it, but I didn't have all this variety like I do now. Hikari has all these different foods to offer. I mean, cichlid pellets, vibrabites for discus, angelfish, you name it. They got sinking. They got sinking wafers for your catfish. They got carnivore pellets for axolotls, our big red tail we got down there. They even got... uh. These herbivore diets, I've never even seen these before. Look at those bad boys there. I've never even seen that before. They're like more for your cichlids that love to eat vegetables. I don't really have, or vegetables, love to eat like plants and whatnot. Um, but I'm sure the plecos will actually love this stuff. But yeah, they got all sorts. They got fancy guppies. They got food for fancy guppies. They got food for... Just microwafers for small baby, whatever you got. You can crumble them up in your finger to make a nice powder. They even have shrimp cuisine for our cherry shrimp and our blue shrimp that we have with our guppies. But yeah, they got allergy wafers. They got pretty much everything you could ask for as well as they also have some water conditioner that works really well to remove the metal that's in my well water that I have. But it's good for city water, it's good for everything. Chlorine, ammonia, heavy metals, replaces slime coat, it does it all. I mean, Hikari's pretty lit. But they do something even cooler, it's pets in the classroom. It's like a little, uh, it's a program that they endorse and it's getting, it's donating to teachers, it's giving the ability for teachers to have uh, pets in their classroom so it helps teach the kids how to like take care of animals how to be more responsible pay more attention in class stuff's like stuff like that it helps the kids learn more about animals i mean i'm an animal lover myself we got fish we got pigs we got goats we got chickens we got ducks i mean it's pretty lit so if you wanted to donate to the cause i'll put the uh, link in the description of where to go to to donate to the cause. It's an awesome cause, really helps kids. But yeah, let's get right into feeding the fish. Naturally, we're obviously obviously gonna start with the monster fish at the bottom, and then we'll move along to the smaller stuff. But of course, let's start with the monsters. And they are going to be getting the monster pellets that I've been feeding. This tank is a little dirty because our bad boy down there keeps stirring up the sand but we're gonna feed them these pellets and see if they go crazy or not there we go there we go look at him look at him this catfish once he gets a scent of it he goes oh here he goes he's like a vacuum he just he's an animal absolute animal i think rod Rod's picking on our uh, Oscars. Rod, 
Can I not have you with anybody? You fiend. I actually could move you. But yeah, enough about Rod. We'll take care of him later. Rod, our boy, you can see our boy Rod there. He is just mean. That little guy is just full of piss and vinegar. He is so mean. He's going to go in that tank over there. That tank right there, he's going to go in that tank. Guaranteed. Keep it up, Rod. You're going to be by yourself. I was trying to put you with some friends. Anyway, you can see, they love the food. They won't stop eating so darn much. Yeah, this tank's all dirty because everybody's trying to probably run from Rod. A psycho. That's enough of you, Rod. All right, moving right along. Let's try some carnivore sinking pellets. There's an axolotl on there. Axolotls will eat it. I'm sure these goldfish won't mind eating it either. And I actually, I like the bags. I don't, like the containers are like, everybody does containers, but bags, it's kind of different. I like it. I like how, just how they look too. All right, these are sinking pellets. Hey, they get, all right, well, uh, goldfish approved, as you can see, they're like barely any of them hit the bottom. Kind of spread them all around. I just got these axolotls. We have three, I think they're like, they're not melanoid, they're spotted color, but not melanoid. I think they're copper or something, but then we also have our uh, albino summer in here. But yeah, we're just going to sprinkle this around. They're pretty shy yet because I just got them. But I guarantee you they're going to love those pellets. I think that guy in the back's already eaten some. So yeah, we have three of them that looks like that. Two females and one male. That's a female. Let's see what else we got here. Nobody over there. Some Indian almond leaf. We got a guy hiding in there. You can see a guy's butt right there. Then we got Summer in the back chilling, like a villain. Oh yeah, we got Summer in the back chilling there. I'm sure those axolotls will devour it. These goldfish certainly are. But yeah, let's move on to our... Oh, he's hiding. You can see he's turned it. Look, at he's hiding in there. It's our lungfish. Our spotted lungfish is just hiding. I guarantee this man will also eat these carnivore pellets. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him to come out. Let me drop some in here. See if we can get our boy to come out here. Beautiful sinking pellets. I dropped it right in front of him. We'll see it once he comes out. I'll shoot back up to here so we can get a look at him. On to our guppy tank. Guppies and shrimp. So, you already know the drill. They got the fancy guppies. Money, 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 cash, money. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if they like this. These are, what are these? Semi-floating. So they're gonna float a little, gonna fall a little. We got babies in here. Ooh, this is like a nice little powder. This is gonna be perfect for our little babies. Okay. Put a little bit in here. Stir it up. Yeah, it's like nice little pellets. Oh, they're going on a feed in frenzy, feed in frenzy. Holy. The pellets, these pellets are really small, but look at them all. Oh, they're devouring them. The quarries are going to be able to get to pick through it. The little teeny babies are even eating it. I think I can actually, it's almost like a powder. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's like a powder. But yeah, this will be perfect. I'll keep this same handful and I'll actually crumble it up. And it turns it into a powder. And then the babies can eat it. Nice. We're going to go ahead and just throw this to the platies down here as well. I'm sure the platies will go nuts over it. Oh yeah, it's starting to fall. Platies are about to go nuts. They've never had this food before. Look at them. 
Oh, they found it. They found it. Oh! Oh, buddy! Your buddy has found it up at top. You gotta go to the top. But as you can see, we got Corys in here. We also have Corys in here. You know what? We got more food for that, too. Let's get our sinking wafers. Our sinking wafers for the Corys. I'm telling you, Hikari, they got everything. Amazing company, I'm telling you. This is the way. Hikari. A couple wafers in there. A couple wafers down here. No shrimp. The shrimp will eat that as well as the quarries. But yeah, they're fed. Our nice, they're like black dragon guppies are fed and bred. Shrimp are actually going to love those pellets. Our blue Mickey Mouse platies are fed and ready to go. You can see they're swarming all that food all over in the water column. We got our wafers down there in the middle. Corys are still looking around finding it, eating all the uh, pellets I just threw in there. They're just going to town. We got nothing in here. Rod's gonna end up going in there. Pea puffers are in there. Hikari does have the frozen blood worms, which I do have, that are in the freezer, just not out right now. All right, let's see what the angelfish and the black Corys and the fire mouth and the plecos all We'll see what they like. All right, we're going to try the Vibrabites, the Vibrabites for our angels. And I think this is more of a floating plant. And these guys aren't really used to a floating plant, so we'll see, plant floating food. I'm out here thinking about plants, man. We'll see if they'll come to the top. I might be able to dip them in the water and see if they'll sink. Uh-oh. Yep, oh boy, here we go. Oh, he just ate the whole thing. Oh, I think they're gonna love these. That's actually plenty for this tank. Look at them. They're going nuts in this corner. Jeez. Okay, yeah, I would say Vibrabites is a big W. I'd say so. Let's go ahead and throw some... Uh, Sinking wafers in here for our quarries as well. You can see them at the bottom too. Just a couple. Yeah. I'm sure our fire mouth will get some of those too. And then they got algae wafers, of course. Of course they got it. They got everything. They got algae wafers for our uh, plecos in the back that always hide. Nice little small algae wafers. We're gonna toss in the back here because I know they're hiding back there. They won't come out to eat them. They only come out to eat at night, unfortunately. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? All right, but yeah, this, is a, this tank has our koi angels. It has our black and white angels. And it has two of our striped uh, white angels in the front there. And then our Venezuelan black quarries a fire eel as well, and three gold vampire plecos, but they always hide in the back. Like I can barely, I can see one tail, but I don't know if it'll zoom in on it. You gotta look in between the wood, right in that crack, right there. You see his tail flickering? Come on, Angel, get out of there. You can see his tail flickering just for a second back there. Yep, you see his tail? They all just hide in there. He hides back in there. There's nothing I can do. But yeah, hopefully we can get them to breed. That'd be nice. All right. Well, let's go. Last but not least. Stock tank. Stock tank. Looking good. But yeah, we got Molly. We got sword tails in here. We got mosquito fish in here. We got... A snow white lobster in here. We got snails in here. We got super reds. We got super red bristle noses. We got salt and pepper quarries. We got all sorts of stuff thrown in here. And I'm sure they'll eat anything. But let's see what they'll eat. 
I'm guessing those Viber Bites are gonna be uh, top tier here because they are perfect. All right, we got some Viber Bites. Let's see. Let's see what they think of them. Oh, Swordtail's already checking it out. Oh, Swordtail's devouring it. Uh, it's so hard to see in here because there's not that, like, it's so much water and there's not that many fish. But they are going crazy. You guys can't see the mosquito fish. They're going nuts. There's our lobster. Our snow white lobster. He's probably just waiting for one of them babies to come in front of him. He's going to snatch it. I'm telling you, these, this is nuts. We're going to put some, uh, let's put some sinking wafers in there as well. huh? We have Corey's in there. We got... All sorts of, ah, the lobsters will probably eat that too. Got a decent, decent little handful, decent little handful. Ah, kata, hi ta Money. More lobsters on the move, he's on the move. We need a name for him, just kidding. That's Larry the Lobster, baby. Snow White Larry the Lobster, getting after it. Fish are going crazy in here. The only problem with this tank, brown algae, man. Brown algae never ceases to amaze me. This stuff is crazy. Look at the walls. Brown algae everywhere. But I think it was my food. I think I was feeding too much food. Plus, this food? Yeah, let's not, let's not, let's not get any harsh, but I think that food made my water dirty. I think about that food is making my water dirty. This stuff? This stuff keeps my water clean. I'm not kidding. I was feeding those, I was feeding those pellets, those cichlid pellets, I was feeding so much of those to the monster fish down here and the tank was spotless. This is the first day the tank is just, the tank is just a little cloudy, but I think it's from the fish actually stirring up the sand because it's not, there's not little particles or nothing in there. It's just cloudy. And I'm pretty sure that's because the fish are kicking up that sand and it's not settling. Because like his belly is plum full. But everybody's got chunks taken out of him because of you that I just took out. You are an absolute monster. Can't have nobody with him. But yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't shown you guys the gold guppy tank yet. We haven't fed them yet. Yeah, our gold guppy tank. We can't be letting the babies down. We're going to try. We're going to try the micro the micro wafers because we have babies in here. We haven't even tried these. Oh yeah, these are gonna be nice. I guarantee they go nuts for these. I'm gonna put a little pinch in here, a nice little pinch. And then I'm also gonna go get those uh, other ones, the uh, guppy ones that are specifically for guppies because those are extremely nice. Look at them feeding frenzy. They're about to go crazy when I put this stuff in. They're about to go crazy. Up oh, here we go. Yep, baby. <laughs> babies. There's so many babies. There's literally probably 50 babies in there. Put another little pinch in there. Look at them. Holy cow. Look at all those babies. There's so many. There's there's probably 50 plus babies in there. They're going nuts. Oh, this tank is so lively. I'm telling you, that's why we need to get these sword tails breeding in here. So, I mean, there's hundreds, tens of hundreds of fish in here. It'd be lit. But yeah. Like I said, go check out Pets in the Classroom. Link's down in the description. But hey, thanks Hikari for sending me some food to try out. That's awesome. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.